Roving reporter Pete Smith here with a question. What is your favourite 7 o'clock TV show? Let's ask a few people. Excuse me, sir, what is your favourite... Damn this war, Grace. Damn this war. What's your favourite 7 o'clock TV show? Speak when you're spoken to, Smith. Talk about the young doctors. Excuse me, what's your favourite... Oh, seven never mind that. Open wide. Excuse me, sir, what's your favourite 7 o'clock TV show? Look what I'm doing to my delicatessen. It'll be the greatest thing ever. It will change people's lives. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to have the sale of the century. Tonight, we proudly present the battle of the TV classics on Sale of the Century. And now, for Heat 3, welcome Glenn Rich. Thank you, Peter. Hi. Hi. Hello and welcome to Sale, the battle of the TV classics and we've got an all-time classic for you tonight. We'll keep you in suspense for a little while, but please welcome Nick Button, Nick, 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 Nicky Buckley. I was getting all excited. I have Nick, 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 I have Nick Buckley. I can, yeah, that, that, that's a sort of all right. Um, I can remember, it was only a couple of weeks back that I was sitting um, up at Laguna Keys. Yeah, and Prisoner was on. And we were watching Prisoner. So it's still being seen all the way around the world, too. Yep. And that's who's here tonight. And who in particular is playing? Well, one of our toughest women to ever hit prisoner, our first contestant, was dubbed the freak in her role as the bitter prison warder, Miss Ferguson. Tonight, she certainly won't take any cheek from her inmate opponents. Please welcome Maggie Kirkpatrick. Hello, Maggie. Hi, Drew. Now, best known for her betrayal of the top dog of Wentworth, B. Smith, our second contestant is determined to show the freak a thing or two about <laughs> trivia. Watch out for that ironing press, Glenn, because she's ready to break out on the buzzer. Please welcome Val Lehman. Hello. Hello, Val. Well, she's out on parole tonight. Our next contestant is well loved for her performance as one of the more innocent inmates at Wentworth, Doreen. We're sure she's got that teddy bear hidden there somewhere. Please welcome the cheeky grin of Colette Mann. Hello, Colette. Hi, Glenn. And finally, most will remember her as the angry warder of Wentworth, Vera Vinegar, no, sorry, Miss Bennett, a role she played for three years. Please give her a fair go tonight, Glenn, or she might just put you in solitary confinement. Let's welcome Fiona Spence. Hello, Fiona. Nice Hi, to have Glenn. you with us also. Um, I don't get intimidated anyhow. How are you, Maggie? I'm very well, Oh, thank that's you. all right. Just thought I'd check. Hey, what are you up to at the moment? You're very busy, I believe. Well, yes, I'm about to go into rehearsal for a rather wonderful project. It's a play called Shoehorn Sonata, and it's been written by John Misto, who wrote The Damnation of Harvey McHugh, that you might know. It's a, a, a two-woman part, a two-woman play, and it's a reunion of two women who 50 years ago were prisoners of the Japanese. Oh, really? And so it's very timely for this... Uh, this 50th anniversary. That sounds exciting. Yes, very. Do people still remember you as the freak? Mm. Do they? Mm, they do. Mm. They just move aside. <laughs> Is it? Well, nice to have you with us, Maggie, and good luck tonight, Thank too. Thank you very good much. Luck. Now, Val, I believe you've just got home from overseas, living in London for about five years? Yes, I've been in, well, not right in London, but in the UK for five and a half years. And what years, were you doing yes. over there? Working on the uh, stage, mostly. I didn't right. crack it for any television work whilst I was there, but uh, I've done a law of the land since I've been back. Oh, yes, you um, have, too. And uh, nothing, nothing much else, unfortunately. So I haven't got him to flog, unlike Maggie. <laughs> <Is that Except her>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have fun tonight. It'll be interesting to see how you two get on sitting side oh, by side. Why did? Oh. <laughs> you yeah. surprised. Yeah. Good luck tonight, Val. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Where is that teddy bear, Colette? Oh, everybody asks me that, Glenn, but unfortunately he lost his head in about episode 210, I think. Oh. <laughs> and we haven't seen him since. Oh, dear. And your life's never been the same no, since? No, it hasn't. Really? No. What are you up to at the moment? Doing some radio? I often I'm hear doing in some radio in Melbourne and I'm also just about to open in One Small Step, which is the one woman show I did last year and I'm doing it uh, for the Paul Dainty Corporation at the Comedy Theatre opening at the end of July. Well, it's nice to have you back again, Colette. Of Thank course, you. Colette's been with us in a, a variety of specials here on sale for a while, so you've got the uh, inner running at the moment. Good luck, oh, though. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck tonight, yeah, Colette. Yeah. And so, Fiona, what have you been up to since your days at Prisoner? Um, oh. That was 17 years yeah, ago. No, <laughs> more recently. We take up the half hour talking about that. <laughs> no. um, uh, home and away for yep. two and a half years. And you did some Law of the Land Law too. of the Land, mm -hmm. yes. I was in that doing series, I think, two and three. And I've got to go to location tomorrow morning at Sparrows to do start, oh. start a feds. Oh, oh we won't so, get it too late tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and has anyone stopped you in the street and said, G'day, Vinnick? 
No, 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 they're not game enough to. Well, they Hello. were never game enough to. Weren't they? No, they might say it and run. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice to have you with us, Fiona. Yep, and good luck you. to all of our players. We're in for a lot of fun. $20 starting Yay! money. Watch out for all the girls, Glenn. Yes. <laughs> good I'm luck, scared. everyone. We'll see you in the gift shop. Here we go. And, of course, the winner is going to go into the grand final representing prisoners. So, question one. According to the well-known nursery rhyme, Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the... <laughs> bell. Clock. Yes. May between 1976 and 82 were the more than 500 episodes of which Australian family drama set Colette? The Sullivans. During World War II, yes. Good one. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Here's a visual question. Take a look at your monitor. Seen here with the local doctor is which animal star of a country crack? Maggie. Grant Oddwell. Uh, unfortunately... Oh, the <laughs> Are you watching that? We needed the animal star of a country practice. Oh, it was smelly or snuffy or something. Oh, fatso. 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 Yeah. fatso. It's also too late. <laughs> Next. Getting back to the questions. According to a saying reflecting the drug use at the time, you weren't really there if you can remember, Maggie. The 60s. The 60s. You've recouped that $5, Maggie. Six degrees of separation and IQ are the two, Maggie. Fred Skepsy. That's right. Latest film from Australian director Fred Who. And uh, a good start on everyone's behalf, Fiona. Still got a long way to go, but Colette, Val and Maggie, all on $25, all $5 ahead of Fiona, which means the first person with their buzzer when Nikki says the low price can buy for their viewer right here. Yeah, well, girls, when Esme Watson isn't hard at it being the town busybody, she's resting easy with this King-style rocker recliner. Sparkly. There's been a terrible crisis. There's an epidemic of smallpox in the valley and all the doctors, well, they've gone off to Burrigan for the, for the peak row day. Oh, well, look, this beautiful velvet recliner should certainly be of comfort, Esme. It's normally $1,099, but tonight we could go on and on, couldn't we? But it's just $6 from Jason Lazy Boy and Sale of the Century. Oh, Esme, nice to have you with us again. You're wearing the same frock you had on last well, time you were with us. my party frock, Oh, yes. <laughs> Only got one. <laughs> Put your hands together for Joyce Jacobs for helping us out too, Joyce. Nice to have you with us. It's been a lot of fun. Lovely to be here. Oh, that sounded a lot like his May then. Well, you see, the character's sort of taken over through the years. I mean, my husband says I've grown more like her as <laughs> what a 13 years, you see. Now, we've asked everyone else what they're up to. What are you up to at the moment? Well, uh, I'm what they call resting at the moment, but I'm available, people. <laughs> great so, dramatic roles, yes. Good to have you with us, Joyce. It's been great. Now, Maggie, Val and Colette, you have the opportunity to buy for your viewer this great recliner. We want $6. We'll bring it down to $5. It's very comfortable, isn't it, Joyce? Yes, you can have me as well if you like. $4. <laughs> going once. Going twice. Going three. And Colette's bought yeah. at $4. Well done, Colette. <laughs> See you, Joyce. I know. Let us not forget that we are playing for people at home, yes, ladies. Yes, yes, yes. And they'd like something And you've from done this. it before. Exactly. Well, <laughs> the animosity <laughs> creeps into the game here as we continue with the questions. <laughs> Serving as a hazard in golf is which shallow excavation partly filled Colette? The bunker. Yes. With sand, yes. Which character in the Adams family shares her name with the day of the week? Oh, Fiona. Tuesday. That's not right, Fiona. Oh. It was no second chance of that, Maggie. God. What was the question again? Wednesday. Monday or Tuesday, I knew well. <laughs> game, Ten dollars to be Tuesday. placed behind one of our famous faces. Who am I? Born in London in the late 1940s, I played guitar in an R&B band before backpacking around Australia. One of the stars of the Sydney production of Hair, my first Maggie. John Waters. I am John Waters, yes. Well, well answered. Well answered. Now, Maggie, you're trailing by a dollar. You can go into the lead, though, because $10 is behind one of our famous faces. And tonight, those faces are... Jared Maguire. Portrayed Warden Jim Fletcher in Prisoner. Lorraine Bailey. Lady of the House, Grace Sullivan. Ed Devereaux. Head Ranger Matt Hammond from Skippy. Linda Stoner. Cop Shops, Amanda King. And our home viewer, Joe Ferguson. Joe comes from North Gosford in New South Wales. And Joe's hobbies include fighting new jokes to tell his eight grandchildren. Great grandchildren. Yeah, Judy McBurney. Judy McBurney. Uh, Tanya Livingston from The Young Doctors playing on their team tomorrow night. Alwyn Kurtz. Inspector from the legendary Homicide Squad. The late Sheila Florence. Played the lovable Lizzie Birdsworth in Prisoner. And Tony Ward. Played Hunter in Hunter. That's a choice, Maggie. Who would you like? I think I might go for the home viewer because he has the same name as that dreadful person, doesn't he? 
Ferguson. Don't look puzzled, Maggie. Your viewers won this fun-filled collection of books and puzzles. They're valued at $180 from Roland Harvey Studios. Nice prize, Maggie. Close game. College leading on 26, and we'll be back shortly okay. with round two on the sale. Phoned in to be a viewer on tonight's show. Maggie and Val, your viewers' names are on the screen at the moment. So uh, who knows? They could win some great prizes. Colette, you're leading on 26 as we get oh, into no, round isn't two. Isn't that fabulous, Glenn? <laughs> no. Oh. no, not at all. For mining which precious metal is Kalgoorlie famous? Val. Gold. Yes. Uh, starring Anthony Edwards is which new nine, uh, Colette? ER. Nine network series set in a hospital. Yes. Fame game, $15 being added to the board. Who are we? A vocal group whose members were born in the United States States between 1915 and 1920, we started on the RKO theatre circuit as youngsters and in 1937 made our first record, Why Talk About Love. Six years later, later, we recorded Pistol Pack and Mama with Bing Crosby and today we are still considered the biggest girl group ever. Maggie. You said girl group, did you? I was going to say the Mills Band. No. Uh, with sales of some 60, Colette. The Andrews Sisters. The Andrews Sisters is correct, yes. Boogie Woogie, Little Boy. That's the answer we need, Colette. So who would you like from our famous faces? Oh, I'd like um, the late Sheila Florence. The late, great Sheila Florence. Thank you. Played Lizzie. Colette, your viewer can make the most of their mornings with this marvellous espresso coffee maker and grinder. Perfect for that freshly brewed pick-me-up. Valued at $449 from Moulinex. Well, really nice. excited. Nice. Now your viewers got two nice prizes. Nice prize, Colette. You're still leading though by one dollar as we put 30 seconds up on the clock for fast money. And your time starts now. According to the saying, man cannot live by what alone? Colette. Bread. Yes, a world swimming champion is Australian Kieran who? Colette. Perkins. Yes, at which consonant is silence in the word sap? Colette. Have no idea. <laughs> L. An Indian Prime Minister was Rajiv who? Maggie. Yes, uh, in which Irish city is the Abbey Theatre? Colette. Dublin. Yes, uh, name Australian cricket's war twins. Fiona. Steve War and Mark War. <gasps> yes, yes. Uh, the entertainment program is hosted by Don Berg. Maggie. Back backyard. Yes, uh, well, it's happening. Uh, Colette, you're still leading. Colette, you're on $41. Oh. You're... Oh. Can you bring her into line, Maggie? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> Golly, you could buy for your view over here with Nikki. Well, please welcome our Mr. Sullivan turned Mr. Handyman, Paul Cronin. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. So tell us, Paul, how good is this 205 piece toolkit? Nikki, it's as tough as nails. There's no spanners in the works here, let me tell you. You'll be at it hammer and tongs without wrenching an inch. Oh, well, I think you've <laughs> hit the nail on the head there, Paul. It's normally $1,702, but tonight it's just $9 from Supercraft and, of course, Sale of the Century. Thanks for joining us again, Paul. Pleasure, Glenn. Of course, Pleasure. these can be picked up at 9 to 10 and all that Absolutely. sort of stuff, can't they? Absolutely. This is a great prize for your viewer at home, Colette. Are you listening to me? Oh, sorry, I was just <laughs> chatting. Uh, how many am I ahead? At the moment, you're $6 ahead of Maggie. $6? And I'll mm. tell you what, I don't often do this, but I'll bring it down to $6. For a tied game, if you buy for your viewer at home, six dollars going to buy once. Your viewer at home, come on. Going yeah. twice. <laughs> yes, well done, Colette. We have a tie for the lead. Thank you very much for joining Pleasure us again, Paul, and good Pleasure. luck with everything. Thank you. Viewers, question for tonight: Get your Bibles out. What is the shortest verse in the Bible? We'll tell you after this break. Question, uh, what is the shortest verse in the Bible? It is John 11.35 and it's simply, Jesus wept. That's our viewer's question. If you're a viewer, who knows you could be in amongst the prizes because Fiona and Colette, your viewers' names are on the screen at the moment. That's oh, who you're playing for. Oh, mine are that happy, aren't they? Uh, well, they should be, Colette, because you're leading on 35. You and Maggie both on 35, Val 30 and Fiona on 20. Carmen Duncan and Tony Bonner were two of the cast members of which... Fiona? Cop Shop. No, Crawford Soapy sat at an airport, Skyways. Ah. Sold at auction in London for $195,000 in 1987. Were well, which two familiar props used by Charlie Chaplin's tramp character, Val? His hat and his cane. That's correct, the bowler hat and cane. <laughs> Time to play the pokies and call out Val and Maggie. Uh, you're all on $35, so you all have the opportunity to possibly pick up $5,000 for your viewer at home. It will be an auction, but firstly, let's have a look at the prize which is up for grabs. Now, the girls from Wentworth knew they were onto a good thing when they got this fantastic front loader washing machine and sensor dryer. More time for top dog power struggles and sneaking away from the screws for a smoko. Now, this fabulous laundry set won't make you a prisoner in your own home because it's going 
going to do all of the dirty work for you. It's valued at $2,650 from Bendix Home Laundry and Sale of the Century. So Colette, Val and Maggie, that's the prize. We have $5,000 which is there as well. Take five card and also $15 to go back on your score. So the first person with their buzz, when I say a price, we'll start at 15, we'll go down to 14, we'll keep bringing it down to 13, 12. Who wants to play? 11. You're going to play, Val? Yeah. $11. Oh, Hearts, right. spades, clubs or diamonds? You would have buzzed in first if you'd gone down to five. <laughs> <laughs> Val, which machine would I'm you I'm a like? romantic. I'll go for hearts. It's going oh, to go for hearts right. up this end. Let's see how we go. For your viewer, yep. let's hope it's the $5,000, Val. Yeah, Everything's crossed and it is... Whoa. Five grand. <laughs> so how happy do you think my viewer is, madam? My <laughs> viewer. <laughs> $5,000. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well done, Val. You're now back to 24, but your viewer's wrapped. Colette, and much happier get... than Colette's viewer. They've got a copy machine, and they've got other things, we might and just yours get on with got the... nothing. Ladies, please. Oh, sorry. Gosh. Are there any ladies in here? <laughs> a, fa a famous Danish author was Hans Christian who? Maggie. Anderson. Yes, in the lead in your own right, Maggie. Name either of Prince Rainier's daughters. Maggie. Oh. Caroline and Stephanie. Yes. Same game, $25 in the wild card, last chance, pick some money from the board, who am I? Born in 1922 in London, I left school at 14 and began an apprenticeship, but at the outbreak of war, volunteered for the RAF, where I learned far more about stagecraft than planes. Performing in over 1,000 shows, at the end of the war I returned to carpentry, but soon became a regular singer on the BBC. My big break was at the London Palladium, and I toured the US with Judy, Judy Garland from 1950 to 52. The songs I've written have won many awards, and my sing-along albums have all gone gold. Colette? Mitch Miller. No. <laughs> Known by the first name of Mac, Maggie. Max Bygraves. Max Bygraves, yes. He's the gentleman. Leading by $10, Maggie, you could lead by 35 if you pick correctly, so good luck. Which of our famous faces would you like? <sighs> Well, Judy McBurney's up there in the green room. I think I might, um, yeah, Judy. Judy from Young Universe. Oh! And that's $25. Oh! Up to 70 and leading. So well done, Maggie. Where was the rest of the money, though? Nick? Well, the wild card was with Linda Stoner. Jared Maguire had the $10 and Ed Devereaux had the 15 That's where the money was. Everything's happening here with the prisoners' crew. Maggie leading on 70. And we'll be back shortly with the Mad Minutes. Present Prisoner in the grand final starting Friday night. Let's find out. Maggie leading on 70. Good luck, ladies, though. 60 seconds up on the clock and your time starts now. An ABC comedy police series is funky. Maggie. Squad. Yes, associated with Bugs Bunny is Elmer Who. Colette. Fad. Yes, what is the Aboriginal name for Ayers Rock? Colette. Uluru. Yes, whom did Batman call Boy Wonder? Colette. Robin. Yes, which company is Australia's largest retailer? Maggie. Grace Brothers, Maya. Coles Meyer. <laughs> what is the first name of American Late Show host Letterman? David. Yes, uh, the recent federal budget includes the sale of which bank? Maggie. The Commonwealth. Yes, uh, who directed the film Hannah and Her Sisters? Colette. Woody Allen. Yes, what type of reptile is a puff adder? Colette. A snake. Yes, uh, on what did Evil Knievel perform his stunts? Colette. Motorbike. Yes, in which country is Kruger National Park? Colette. Oh, I don't know. South Africa. Yes, uh, how many companies make up a duopoly? Colette. Two. Yes, uh, which officials feature in TV's Blue Healers? Colette. Uh, police. Yes, uh, which word beginning with E means the day before an event? Colette. Eve. Yes, uh, which Australian soapy featured the characters Herb and Dory Evans? Colette. Number 96. That's right. And Colette, you've won the game. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> there you go. Well done, Colette. Congratulations. And Maggie, you sorry, win, yeah? I couldn't accept. It had to be Coles Meyer was the only answer we could take there. But well done. Great game, game Colette. Oh, no. Yeah, I'll see what she just ignores us. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Maggie, listen, you've won for your home view the $1,000 and the books and puzzles, 1180 in total, so well done there. Thank you, Maggie. And, Val, you've won 6000 cash for your home viewers, so they're going to love you. Can I have their phone number? <laughs> <laughs> and, Fiona, you've won $1,000 cash for your home viewer too, so thanks thank for joining you. us. We've just... You're on 15, Fiona. Sorry about that, but thank you very much for being a part of it. My and, pleasure. Fiona, Val and Maggie, you've won for your viewers this great prize too. Looks like Ada's kiosk has really expanded with the years. Your viewers have won this classic video and CD collection, chock-a-block with movie and music greats like the swinging sounds of the 70s in the classic Carpenters. It's from Polygram.
So that's a great prize. And as I say, Fiona, Val and Maggie, thank you very, very much for being a part of it all. And we'd like you to accept these gifts on our behalf. Our classic TV celebrities will never be pressed for time when they're wearing the superb Le Grand Classique watch. Swiss made with a gold-plated bracelet, this classic watch features scratch-proof sapphire crystal that's right on the dot for style. It's from Longines. And they'll each receive the latest sale of the century board game from Crowded Andrews, plus our 18-karat gold-plated pin from Shimani Jewelry and sale of the century. Congratulations, oh, Paul. Thank uh, you. You're always stuck for a word, aren't you? So before you say anything, let's go shopping. Come on through and... Whoa, so you're going into the grand final now. I know, isn't that exciting? Oh, it's, it's excellent. Now, you've won, firstly, for your home viewer, this great prize. Ooh. Tonight's winning viewer can catch up with all those classic stars of the small screen on this 34 centimetre colour television. Featuring a 44 channel tuner and on screen display, this stylish television comes with a remote control to bring out the best performance from all those classic TV dramas. It's from NEC Home Electronics. And also for your viewer, yes. you've won this. Well, you can make all of life's most pleasant experiences just that little bit easier with the ANZ Visa Pay Card. The pay card combines the best features of a credit card, debit card and a savings account to make banking and spending much more convenient and loads more fun. You're free to relax and enjoy the finer things in life while your bills are paid automatically and you can use the pay card in over 170 countries throughout the world. Now tonight's four lucky viewers will each receive a $1,000 Visa pay card from ANZ and Sale of the Century. Well, well, well done. done Colette, you've Thank won you. that. And of course going into the grand final on Monday night, a viewer is going to win the... Oh, before I tell you though, in total... $4,739 worth of prizes you've won. Congratulations there. Thank you. Uh, and here's the Audi, which is going to go off on Monday nights. Classic stands for outstanding quality, and this Audi 82.6 is first class in its automotive field. Offering the versatility of manual transmission plus standard airbag safety features, this state-of-the-art Audi 80 boasts the smoothest of on-road performances. With wood grain trim and other luxury extras, this classic vehicle is valued at $49,020 plus on road costs. Audi, advancement through technology. Great car. So I love that. Good. That's the, uh, the Audi. Can you come, girls? Um, girls, thank you very much for being a part of it all. We certainly hope you've enjoyed it tonight. Well Tomorrow done. night we have the Young Doctors. And who's going to be playing there? We have Chris King. We have Cornelia Francis, Bartholomew John and Judy McBurney. Ooh. And the number to call is 0055 602 78. Make sure you do that. And who knows, you could pick up some great prizes. Colette, you're going to the grand final. I am. Good luck with everything, ladies. Thank and uh, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow night on the sale. So until then, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well done. This is a Grundy television production for the Nine Network Australia. Peter Smith speaking.